Hello viewers, it's SuperGT here. Welcome back to some more A-Class gameplay around Sebring Short Course. As we head into the Sharp Hairpin, we're going to get nudged from behind going into the BMW. Not much I could have done about that. Uh, unfortunately for the BMW, he's going to go round there. But it's going to develop here into a three-way battle. I'm in the Lotus Exige uh, following a Caterham and he is following a Mercury Cougar. So it's going to be a dice here between the UK and the US. Different types of cars on show in this battle. We have two handling based cars. Cars with handling and brakes. Whereas the Mercury Cougar will have the, will have the edge on the straights. In terms of uh, acceleration and top speed. Uh, this track would be more suited to the handling aspect. But you'll see this many times. This car really does... Uh, lag behind on the straights. So coming into the final turn, we're not going to call this right-hander here a turn. It's more of just a bent straight, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't. But as we come through here, the Caterham there actually has decent power. And as you can see here, I am getting left behind. But it's in the braking zone where this car really excels. So I can brake a lot later, uh, later. Look at that. Almost going to the back of that guy. Go down into first gear, which was a mistake, admittedly. But you can see here, on the exit, I am a lot closer than I was um, about 10 seconds ago before the corner. So uh, again there, look at that Mercury Cougar extending that lead uh, quite big there, quite a big lead uh, just off that straight. But then again, on the brakes, I can close it straight back up again. So it really is just um, a great battle between the different uh, PI um, capabilities of our two cars. I've gone for the braking uh, aspect. He's clearly gone for straight line speed. Now I thought I'd go for the Lotus, I was trying to do that Stalker Challenge and I thought this would be a good car around this track. It's kind of working I guess, you could call it a Stalker Challenge, but this is not officially a Stalker Challenge video. I thought I'd bring you this one because it was such a good battle in the end. I wasn't really intending to try to follow anyone, I was just genuinely behind them on pace, trying as hard as I can to get past them. But it was the same story again, as you can see the Caterham just about not able to get past and I'm... Uh, being left behind but again on the brakes look at that almost I got the inside uh, just have to leave him room there on the outside though as he comes around and filters back into second place and here is where I lose out massively I'm going to lose maybe two or three seconds just on this pit alone just this um, straight I guess it is um, most logical though because that is the uh, the straight out of the slowest corner on the track so I would lose most on acceleration there this turn it's quite easy in this car, just pretty much flat out. The car has so much grip on the exit, that big wing there does help quite a lot. Uh, the car very stable on the exit once you get that throttle down and the weight over the rear wheels. Cajun goes up the inside here, he's gone into the lead, but goes a little bit too deep. Gets two wheels on the grass, that's going to slow him down massively. So I've gone past here into second to last turn. As we sweep left, I'm not going to break too late. Keep it on the apex nicely so there's nothing he can do. And then as we go up the straight here, looking behind, he's actually made another mistake. So that's given me a bit more breathing room from behind. Now we can gauge how good the brakes are against this Mercury Cougar now without the catering in the way. So you can see here, closing that gap up hugely. Now if I can get a lot closer on the next lap, there is a chance I can go for a lunge into that hairpin. Which pretty much will be my only chance. Into this corner up here, I'm always too far away. You can just extend that gap. Uh, just just about too big so there's no way I can lunge from this far back that's just absolutely uh, madman behavior to do that there's a back marker off the track there so thankfully he hasn't interrupted the battle the Mercury Cougar there going a bit sideways through that turn and that's going to put the pressure on him coming into this one and as you can see on the brakes closing right up I'll go for a later turn in there it gives me a better exit he's going to go defensive actually so that's going to force him out of position that's what you've got to do in these situations when it's a very close race. You have to make them defend when they don't really need to. Put them out of position. Make their exit a little bit slower. So I'm going to look up the inside, which forces him a little bit wide. And that's what I mean. Forces him a little bit too wide. He can't get quite as good an, uh, an exit as he would have done if he had taken the proper line. Even so, he still gets the, um, the, the speed down straight. He's got the legs on me down here into the braking zone. Well, we know how good the brakes are, so I'm going to go for the lunge of the century. Best lunge of the 21st century winner, right there, into the lead. But he is going to come back at me here, because this is his strong straight. So I'm going to come around here, and I'm watching his distance on the 
meters thing on the left hand side he is closing in so i'm going to go to the right hand side to cover the inside line he's going to come up the outside i've covered the line perfectly there I've gone a little bit too deep i've covered the line again on the turn so there's no way past i'm on the left hand side for a left hander he can't go around the outside not with his handling over mine and into the right hand here it looks like i'm going to be quite solid into this one he hasn't got the uh, hasn't got the brakes on me so there's not really much chance he can get a move done going into a corner he'll have to rely on acceleration in the run up to the line in just a moment's time so he's gonna have to stick close to me through these last two turns can he do that or can i get a better exit than him go a little bit deeper then come back for a later apex getting decent drive off the turn into the final straight he's look it looks like he's too far behind to catch up from that kind of distance 150 feet behind then he's going to start uh, reeling me in now and as he does he's just about too far behind in the end only finishing about six tenths of a second behind so in the end it was still a very close race but it was a very pleasing race in the end as it kind of shows you that in many respects the pi system does work in the game so you can choose your cars very differently and yet come out with a very close race in the end so you can see that's handling against speed and that's a good example of it i think the cars were fairly balanced there actually the, the two of our cars he drove very well though it would have been harder for him to drive that car than for me to drive mine a good race from both of us we're gonna go to some bonus clips here so the cadillac ctsv around hockenheim trying to avoid that guy there who didn't move off the line into the turn number one one of the most chaotic turns i'm just gonna drive wide i've got to brake pretty much and then let this guy filter in ahead of me and then get back onto the track now this is a bit i almost clattered into that guy don't tell me I'm the only one who uh, to make that mistake of going on when it's the short circuit. Almost get collected by those two guys, go through the smallest of gaps and somehow manage to avoid getting wiped out a bit further on. Go past this guy uh, who went a little bit wide there and then into this turn. It gets a little bit hairy here. Looking up the inside of the Clio, but then he closes the door so I back out at the last moment. I scare that caterer him off. I don't actually make contact with him, but he kind of just, uh, I think my presence... Um, made him a bit scared the Clio there just wipes out the Aston Martin and just smashes him off the track and that's me through into sixth position there my favorite position which I can't say and then on the exit getting the drive against the Clio the, C the Cadillac really does have good uh, power and into the first turn we are going to get clattered from behind I think the Clio got collected from someone else behind him I'm pretty sure and then the Caterham and someone else come through on the top on the extra tarmac there on the exit i get clattered from the caterham i'm through into fourth and i finish fourth in the end in that one so we move to the uh, spa circuit in belgium in the rain and yes this is the v8 tuned uh, supra don't kill me for that because when i bought the tune or got the tune it doesn't tell you what the engine is or i didn't look what the engine is and it doesn't really bother me because the car is fast that's all that matters to me as we come through the first turn a little bit of carnage, not too much. Ford Mustang there in the centre is just going to turn across a little bit and smash me into the wall. Luckily that wall was quite close, so I wasn't uh, going to go flying off for miles. We've got a guy spinning down the straight here. As we go up into the most stupid puddle on Eau Rouge ever, we get through nicely here. And then these two guys are going to go too far to the right-hand side. There's a massive puddle on that curb, which you just do not want to go on. And I'm through past them into ninth and up the Kemmel straight into the uh, ch the Lacum uh, chicane here bit of carnage it's all kicked off I have to slow right down to get past and then coming through here I'm going to get right behind this guy in the Toyota move over to the right hand side get on the brakes nice and early there's a river going across the track so you don't want to brake too late and that's a very nice move nicely calculated he tries to come back on the inside there. there's no chance though I've covered the apex and there's nothing he can do so moving to Blanchemont I go a little bit too wide there and lose a bit of time on the exit guy behind me there extending as you can see but then we're going to see some corner cutting here let's see how many of these guys corner cut there's three ahead of me uh bse mono as you'd expect has gone through it the two chevrolets yet yeah, also gone across and cut that corner massively as you could as you would always expect i guess but then at the end of the race i managed to keep up with them but i was going to finish third not too bad that one but that is going to bring a close to this video. I hope you have enjoyed it, guys. Uh, hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of the same. Comment down below your thoughts on this video. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, look forward to the next video. Hope to see you there. Goodbye.